If you ever get a phone call which sounds like this, be on your guard, it's almost bound to be a scam. Hi, we are calling you from your computer maintenance department. If you remember you have a contract with us. For computer support and services unfortunately. We are closing the business. So you can give us a call. For the refund of the amount you paid. To claim your refund. Please call us on 44. These scammers have stolen or have been given a list of people who have previously been scammed by a different computer company. And because I have access to these scammers PCs, I can see exactly how their scam works. And what you'll see in this video is exactly what the scammer sees and hears as he operates the scam. Critical alert from Michael Shaw. What you're looking at here is a view of the scammer's desktop. He's got his victim to download something called Remote PC and he's asked the victim to read out his user ID and password so that he can connect to it. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. Not just wait. Yeah, right. Not just wait for a second. Okay, then after what you need to do, sir, minimize the page, minimize the page which you have. Minimize. Okay, just wait, wait. Then, curiously, the scammer downloads a second set of remote access software to this victim's PC. So why the two types of access software? Well, TeamViewer offers the ability to blacken the screen of the victim, and Remote PC doesn't have this feature. But if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that direct connections from India are typically blocked by TeamViewer. So to overcome this limitation, they run TeamViewer on the victim's PC, initiate the connection from their side, and then they manually swap sides with the victim. All of this circumvents the warnings which TeamViewer have put in place that this could be a scam. So if you can follow this, this is the scammer with the road access to the victim's PC, who's using it to connect back to the scammer's PC and swap the connection again. Now he can run the refund scam. All right, sir. Then after what you need to do, yeah, after what you need to do, sir, look on the keyboard, Azure computer keyboard, just press the Windows key and the letter R, which you did before. Press the four, Press the four flag logo Windows key and the letter R. He starts the refund scam in the normal way that typical tech support scammers run. He gets the victim to fire up Event Viewer and look at all the errors and warnings which will be present on every PC. He then fires up the command prompt and explains what's about to happen to the victim. First of all, I will explain you what is a black box. It is just a scanning box for your computer. Once we will be scanning your computer with yourself. After that is scanning sir, you got a message from our company like current status. Like why what happened with your computer, why your computer is not working properly, why your computer facing error warning notification and our company giving your services and the refund amount like how much the amount you will refer back. Okay, now so just hold on for a second. Okay, just hold on. So as the victim is staring at the command prompt, our scammer fires up Notepad and edits the message which he wants this poor victim to see. He even checks the spelling on Google. He just pastes that text onto the command line. And how you will get back a one year free services from our de department as for compensation. Okay. Now then, just hold on, then I will be transfer this call to my accounts team. Okay, just wait. Transferring the call to the accounts team just means that he hands over the headset to the guy sitting next to him. Hello? Well, it's a very good day to you. Your call has been transferred to King Thompson. How are you doing today? This second scammer then takes the next part of the scam and it's simply to persuade the victim that this company have actually made some sort of payment. I said, can you see on your screen, at very bottom on the black screen showing you there, like current situation of your computer and you are the customer and you are the eligible customer to get your money back to you? He's using a feature of TeamViewer which prevents the victim from accessing either the mouse or the keyboard. Yes. Yes, you are the person who's getting the refund because as you know on your uh, on your box on the black letter box it's showing you there 
that you are the person who getting the money back to us from our end. All right? So how does this person get their money back? Our scammer explains that there are two ways. There is a two way. We can easily send you the money into your account within a five to ten minutes and you will get your amount right back right now. Okay? Alright. So do you do online banking then? So which bank do you do online banking? This victim mentions Mid Oregon Bank. Just go ahead and log into your bank. Log into your bank first of all, sir. Yes now what you have to do, just go ahead and log into your bank as you do normally. The victim enters the normal bank login details. The scammer doesn't have a keylogger running, so although they know his username, they don't know what his password is. But that doesn't matter. Alright, that's great. Now sir, you have to tell me, like your account has been open, right? Alright sir. I don't need that. You have to be telling me like in which account do you need your money back. He wants it into his savings account, but... Oh, sorry to say that, sir, like we cannot send you the money into your savings. Because you don't have a debit card with your savings, right? Alright, so, so just before that, to transfer, alright, before I'm going to make a transfer, you have to just write down the balance. What is the exact balance do you have into your account? So once we send the money into your account, you can able to check it out with us how much money you got it from our end. The victim being aware of exactly what his balance is, is very key to this scam. Alright, so, so now what I'm going to do, sir, I'm going to send you the money into your checking, alright? And I do believe that you've written down all the balance in your account, right? Alright. So now, sir, first of all, let me go ahead and install a monitor driver into your computer. So at this point, they want to blacken the victim's screen, but of course the scammer can still see what's going on. Now, sir, in the meanwhile, let me secure your computer first of all, alright? Once I'll make your computer secure, then we can go ahead and refund you the money instantly. Alright? Now what do you see on the screen at the moment? He needs to make sure that the victim can only see a black screen at this point. Y yes Nothing? Yeah, just leave your mouse. Leave your mouse, I said. It's important that the scammer has full control at this point. I said leave your mouse. And I do believe, sir, you do have a debit card with your checking account, right? So we can send you the money into your checking account as well. As in a similar video, these scammers want full access to this guy's computer, so they set their own password and PIN number so that they have full access to his computer. Now that they've set a password on the computer, they have the ability to lock the computer with a password that this person doesn't know. Should something go wrong with their scam, at least they've locked the victim out of their own computer. Alright sir. So right now what we are going to do, we are sending the money into your account. So will you please let me know sir, like how much money you will supposed to get from our rent? Because these scammers have stolen customer data, they don't know how much everybody has paid, so they have to ask each victim how much they need to be refunded. Uh, it's on the uh, on the scan panel, right? On the black box it says two hundred ninety nine and ninety nine dollars, correct? Alright, that's all around total three hundred dollars, correct? So right now sir you're going to get your three hundred dollars back into your account, okay? So just give me a minute. Once you will see a black screen, just let me know. Just in case the black screen doesn't work, they also make the browser very small by pressing control minus. You have a pen and a paper? They also distract the victim by asking him to go and get a pen and paper. Refund. R-E-F-U-N-D. Refund. Then I-D. Okay. There. Yes. You just write it down. Refund. R-E-F-U-N-D. Refund. Then I-D. It's difficult to see here, but they've just moved $5,300 from this man's savings account into his checking account. Then seven zero four. Then seven five seven. As the scammer enlarges the font size again with Control Plus, it's possible to see that five thousand three hundred dollars has been moved into the checking account from the savings account. Now for the clever bit of the scam. 
the scammers edit the HTML to make it look as if this is a payment from their company and not just a simple transfer from one of the victim's own accounts. Limerick number two. Yeah. Now read me back the number, sir. Sure, read me back the number. This is the electronic equivalent of having a piece of paper, putting a bit of tipex over it, and writing in new details instead. Uh huh. So now what I have to do, sir, I have to transfer the call to my uh, accounts department once again, okay? Just had a word with him. Hello? Congratulations to the, the, the money I've transferred into your account. You can check it out by yourself as well. Now, of course, this victim was promised $300, not $5,300. Now, have you received the money, sir, from our end? As the victim looks at his total, he points out that they've actually given him $5,000 more than they should have done. Sorry? Listen to the well-rehearsed fake surprise in his voice. What about, what about the amount? Is it lower than that? 5,300 did you say? Oh my goodness, will you please hold on for a minute, sir? Just hold on for one minute. So the scammer obviously knows that he's overpaid this victim, so the key to this scam is how they get the money back again. Our scammer comes up with a solution. Sir, I just got a mail from my hate server, and unfortunately that you got extra amount in your account by mistake, really, sir. So sir, will you please refund me my money back? Inevitably, the victim asks how he can refund the money. Surely they can just take it back themselves. Oh, uh, sir, I can tell you, like, I can tell you, sir, what you have to do to refund my money back to me, all right? Let me have a speak with my manager, okay, sir? Let me have a word with them. A few moments later, there's a proposal. I have a word with my manager, sir, and they said there is some financial institution where you can send our money back to us, all right? So do you know any Apple store near from your place? Yes, he said Apple Store. He wants his victim to go to an Apple Store in order to get his money back. Do you, you don't know? Okay, let me find Apple Store for you, sir. Hold on for one minute. He searches on the victim's PC for the nearest Apple Store. Can you see, sir? There is a place called Simply Mac. Do you know this place? He spends the next few minutes explaining that he's going to need $5,000 worth of Apple gift vouchers. He explains by writing a notepad exactly what he has to say to the Apple Store staff. You need to go simply Mac and Mac Store and ask for Apple gift card all right no reputable company will ever ask for payment by way of gift cards yes so you need to go there and you have to purchase the apple gift card sir so through that gift card i can get my money back to me sir as you're a very honest person so that's why you told me that you received the higher amount from our end so sir will you please refund me my money through that way sir the victim agrees to do this all right so what you have to do sir you need to go to the apple uh, simply mark all right and simply you have to purchase apple gift card okay like you have to purchase two apple gift card for two thousand and one apple gift card for one thousand all right for 2000 and one card for 1000. The victim asks when this needs to be done and gets the inevitable answer. Yes, so you have to go right now. He has managed to persuade this poor guy to really go out and buy $5,000 worth of gift vouchers. To reach there 45 minutes? All right, so are you, are you ready to go? I have to put your shoes on. All right, first of all, tell me, sir, this is your landline number or this is your cell phone number, the number which you are talking at the moment? They want his cell phone number so that they can coach him as he walks into the Apple store. As they hang up the call, it gives me an opportunity to phone this guy and warn him. So right now I'm going to call you back on your cell phone. So in the meanwhile, you can go and get your uh, shoes on, alright? Put your shoes on. Okay, so once you get the parking lot of the Apple Mac, just let me know. With my remote access, I suspend the scammer's phone call. This gives me a chance to phone the victim. German Shepherd. 
Hello, hello, is that uh, speaking? Hello, yes, uh, my name is Jim Browning. I go on to explain to this guy whose name is Bill that he is the victim of a scam and that he shouldn't run out to the Apple store and buy any gift vouchers. So it is a scam. So uh, now nothing's gone from your account, but please log them out of your account as soon as you can. Just close off TeamViewer. So shut close, off. close down the whole. Yeah, close it. Old, uh, computers, right? Yes, do that. Just switch it off, and you know nothing has changed. What you might find is the money from uh, your two accounts is maybe in one account. But you need to switch them off. They need to. You need to remove their access, and do not purchase. I need to do what now? Just switch off the computer. That's easiest. Okay. Okay. Um, they might turn try and phone you back. Off. Yeah. Turn it completely off. Yeah. And just just do that. Just they might try and phone you back here, in a minute. But you can do what you want. Please don't tell them that you've been tipped off to this. I'll explain everything afterwards. But they're probably trying to phone you again. Okay, but if you don't mind, play along with it or pretend you're going to go or something. And uh, but whatever you do, don't purchase but those. They're just calling me again. Yeah, I know. Um, answer the phone anyway and go along with it, and I'll explain it later. You want me to answer this? Yeah, just just play along with it, okay. and uh, I'll explain later and say I'll give you okay, my details. Okay, hold on. Man. Okay, thanks. I take the opportunity to listen again to what the scammers are saying to Bill. Hello? Uh, I said, are you driving at the moment? Are you driving at the moment? So? Where are you at the moment? I said that you... Yes? Why sir? Why is that so? You can't hear Bill's voice here, but I'm sure you get the idea. Hello? Who told you that? Who told you that? Who told you that? Who is talking behind you, sir, at the moment? Like, who is talking behind you? There's nobody behind him, but he has given a good excuse. I said, who is talking behind you? Who was talking to you? I said, who were talking to you on that time? And that's what, that was your granddaughter, right? And what's he saying? But sir, I just need my money back. How you, how your granddaughters come between us? I, I mind, I'm, I'm minding my own business, sir. Sir, but I need my money. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get my money out from your account, sir. Let me get my money out, okay? What do you mean by now? Hello? 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 Hello. As always, if you like my work, you can sponsor me through Patreon, there's a link below, and I'm on Twitter at Jim Browning11. Again, thank you for watching.